So in this video, we're going to cover how to install aftermarket wheel studs in a new wheel hub assembly using a shop press the correct way. So there are ways that you can do this without using a shop press, like hammering them out and then just kind of uh, impacting a lug nut on to pull it through. That can actually run the risk of damaging the wheel hub itself, which in turn you're going to be spending more on new wheel hubs that you ruin than you would on either paying someone to press these in or just buying a shop press for this and then maybe another project down the line. So I would definitely recommend pressing it and not actually doing it like the uh, DIY method. So why use an extended wheel stud anyway? The extended wheel stud allows for more thread engagement for certain aftermarket wheel options and larger spacers. And plus you get to just tell people you have ARP wheel studs, I guess. So here are the wheel studs, then we have your wheel hub assembly. This can either be one that you pulled completely off of the car by taking off the typically four bolts on the back there, or it can just be a brand new OEM one like in our case. If you are buying new ones, I would definitely recommend getting an OEM hub, not like an aftermarket eBay one. One thing you're also going to need, psych, you're not going to need an expensive little tool kit or anything. So all the tooling you really should need are just two beefy sockets then we should be able to get the current studs pressed out and the new ones pressed in using just two sockets and the shot press take our two sockets and then just place them either side basically like that then it should have a little balance on either side kind of like on the lip of the uh, socket So there we go, we got the first thud pressed out, so now we just gotta get the rest done. Alright, so for pressing in, we're just going to need one socket. We're going to go and flip it around. You want to make sure your socket is definitely deep enough. Oh, yeah. There we go, we got our first wheel stud pressed in. You just wanna make sure around the bottom it's nice and tight, everything is actually pressed the way it should be. It's not crooked or anything. So yeah, now we just gotta get the final four back in. there's two so there we go we got a basically brand new front I'll do the rears at a later time for now I'm just worrying about doing the front because in a later video we're actually going to be basically rebuilding the entire front suspension on the BRZ so if you're interested in that stay tuned for it but yeah that's how you would actually replace your aftermarket wheel studs using a shop press the correct way well correct ish anyway I'll have links in the description to the ARP wheel studs for your BRZ FRS or GT86 and also new OEM wheel uh, hub assemblies if you need those or just the part numbers if you feel like finding them on your own or just a generic one I would definitely recommend getting OEM components especially for something like this if you have any issues questions or comments regarding this process go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out and as always I thank each and every single one of you for watching and if you would like to subscribe for more meteor content such as this please do and take care